So the first point you covered uh, was around human resources. So I imagine there's both tangible and intangible risk there um, when we talk about the impact on human resource. Yes. So if you think about what, what what's actually happening, you've got a, a, a team, I'd just say a team of people, that, that, whether it's a cashiering team or accounts payable um, or a reconciliation team or even a treasury team, that depending on the, type, the, the size of the organisation, the type of organisation, there could be multiple teams who are logging into bank portals. So in some organisations, we're not just talking about one team. There could be multiple teams. And then if you think about that for a global organisation, they could then have actually teams in different locations around the world who are logging into bank portals uh, in, in those regions. So this is around the efficiency part of having to have those people who even though the payment file could be generated from that Oracle, that uh, SAP system, Microsoft Dynamics, uh, NetSuite, whatever it is, um, that file is coming out. But actually, the, the process to get that file into the bank for settlement is a manual process rather than it being automated. So I, I guess around the efficiency piece, it's kind of like the question to be asked is, could my staff be making better use of their time? And B, what is the actual cost to my organization of us working in this way so obviously with human resource it's it's quite easy to to calculate the cost of what that would be and doing that process you know it's just how many hours is this taking a week what is the cost um of those staff doing that role per hour um and and there you can you've got a, a tangible a tangible uh, sort of cost that you can apply to that process so imagine if you've got a lot of people involved um, in doing that process that 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 cost is going to rack up sufficiently over Absolutely. time yeah so what we tend to see uh, sitting in the sales team when we're engaging with new prospects is the customer's always wanting is interested in wanting to know what's the business case what's what's the justification for this project for for moving away from a, a manual process using those using those bank portals to an automated process and as you said, this, this is very much a tangible cost. Um, the fact that actually, let's say there are five people in an accounts payable team. And typically what we can see uh, from our other customers uh, is that typically we're going to automate 90% of that process. So we're not going to be able to automate all of it for lots of different reasons. But where we can, 90% uh, is typically what we're seeing. So, that, that, so, so rather than having five people in that organization, um, we're going to see less than one person who is then still processing those um, manual payments. So that's the that's the real business case. That's the real uh, justification, the efficiency piece that comes out from that. And and you think about these people. These are these are actually very intelligent, highly qualified people that have gone to work for an organisation, and they're given what effectively as a mundane task to log into a bank portal to process payments. And surely it's better to have that type of skill in the business to go and do something that's more that has much more value to the organization than simply typing into a, a bank portal. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess there's a, a job satisfaction and a, a talent retention angle to this as well. Where it, yeah, yeah. It's, it, if you think about it, it's both sides, isn't it? it? It's it's the employee who's given a mundane task to do. They've spent three years, however long in university, they come out and do this mundane task. And then for the employer, it's how do I want to retain that talent and make sure that, that we put them on the career path within the organization to keep them and nurture them. And so actually this this uh, moving away from a, a manual banking process actually is going to help that organization do those both things. Absolutely. Yeah, I guess from the organization's perspective as well, it's it's kind of. Where, where are you going to get the most value out of that talent as well? Uh, are, they, are they better placed on doing things that are, fr that are frankly repeatable? Or are they better maybe looking at projects that are potentially more value add and can actually contribute towards improving the bottom line of the organisation? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, they're sitting in the finance organisation, so they're in a good, really good place to help with finance transformation projects and finance transformation applies right across the organization, right? It doesn't necessarily just have to be around banking portals that we're talking about today. Finance transformation could apply in various different areas of the, of the business.